There were winds gusting over 60 miles an hour on the lakeshore for as much as a 24 hour period of time. This also was occurring when the temperatures were down into the teens. In addition, the car's owner left the vehicle parked next to the water after a night out with friends. Always better to park instead of drive home, but you might want to try to leave the car slightly further from the lake before the night of fun begins. Now all that's left is to free the car from its tomb of ice. First, apply 350 pounds of calcium flakes. And that calcium powder is just going to eat through this ice with its heating power. You know, law of thermal dynamics here. What's good about the calcium, it's nowhere near as corrosive as typical rock salt. Once the passenger side wheels are clear, the car is towed sideways across the parking lot so it can be loaded onto a flatbed truck. And this is what's left. You can see the uh, wheel here, the mold here from the Mitsubishi rim. This is the ice on this side. Look at this, four to five inches of ice. And the lesson to be learned from all of this? Maybe don't park right next to Lake Erie. Maybe don't park right next to the ocean. It's Weather Gone Viral. New episode Sunday nights at 8, only on the Weather Channel.